In this part, we are going to focus on a decision. What is it, actually? Let's take into account a few examples. Basically, you can assume that every day, sometimes every minute, people make constantly decisions that involve different levels of risk, when probabilities are known, or when it's not certain what are the outcomes and you do not know what are the probabilities of those outcomes. There are some common decisions. So, for instance, uh, if that would be a normal life, uh, if uh, we will not be living in a pandemic, maybe you would uh, need to make this decision today. Shall I cycle or take a bus, tram or metro to get to the food, to the university? Or if you will be uh, after your classes, you would uh, ask yourself a question, shall I cook or maybe uh, order food? In both cases, there are some sub-questions that can be asked. So a specific decision tree can occur. So if you would say, okay, uh, probably I'm going to cook, but then you would ask yourself uh, where to do my shopping, what to buy, maybe I need a company, who to invite. On the other hand, if you'd say, okay, I'm going to order food, then you would ask yourself a question, where to order from, what to order, who to eat with, shall I invite a friend, maybe uh, use Tinder, uh, yeah, but if Tinder, then who on Tinder? and so on. That can involve a cascade of decisions. Let's uh, consider another uh, decision, another question that can lead to a decision. Uh, shall I buy another pair of shoes? Okay, if yes, uh, shall I uh, buy sneakers or boots? If sneakers, then for instance, which brand and where and when, which color and so on. All of that seems simple, so then let's consider more serious decisions. Pig life decisions. You may ask uh, yourself uh, when you finish your master's, when you graduate from this program, should I continue studying or maybe start working? Some of your colleagues uh, may decide to uh, do a PhD in psychology, maybe in their PhD to focus on consumer behavior. Another option is to start working. Maybe just do something uh, for money and just make tons of money, maybe. Another big life decision is that shall I buy a house or shall I rent, still rent what I have so far? And another big life decision is that shall I maybe marry? Or if you are married, you can ask yourself maybe uh, I should get a divorce. Maybe I'm not happy in this relationship, so maybe something has to be done. Think a little bit about whether there are some differences between those types of decisions, between those uh, common and big life decisions. What are the differences? Psychologists and economists, they try to capture the process and, of course, the nature of uh, decisions under different conditions, when uh, not all information are available and not all probabilities are given. They concluded that it's possible to explain and predict people's behavior. To do that, they focused on this simple model. The simple model that is taken from the textbook introduces basic elements that can lead to a decision. Let's say, in general, consumer behavior. There are three major elements within a person. It's cognition, so uh, it can be, for instance, thought process, some processing that can lead to making a decision, this can be also emotions, affect, as uh, some people uh, pronounce or uh, use, or can be some connotations, 
So intentions, uh, something that people learned or want to learn or they are somehow guided. And of course, second major element that it's beyond the person, uh, specific emotional, emotional, uh, sorry, environmental factors um, that can uh, uh, lead to a consumer behavior. Later on, you will see what kind of elements can modify cognition, affect, or different connotations, what people intend to do uh, when trying to buy products. And also you will see what kind of internal factors influence this kind of process. Okay, what does it mean to make a decision? Let's consider a few formal aspects. From a former perspective, making a decision means making a choice. More precisely, you can say, using uh, symbols, uh, is choosing between options. Let's say that we have a set of alternatives. In other words, choice set. S. We have options A, B, C or D to choose from. Another symbol that we can use is symbol that indicates what kind of option was selected. So if you select a B, then formally we can describe that as you see in the screen. From a former perspective, it's also important to consider specific attributes of choice sets because those choice sets can have different forms. This example, S1, has three options, A, B and C. So uh, you can say that, okay, I'm going to buy shoes and I'm going to buy red, black or white. In this case, we can describe this choice set as closed, finite, and discrete. Another option is, uh, let's say, S2. If uh, that would be a, a choice set with all natural numbers, maybe it's uh, not possible to easily apply that to a typical consumer decision-making, but uh, also it's possible to um, consider this kind of choice set. So if we would consider all natural numbers, we would say it's closed, infinite, and includes discrete alternatives, one, two, three, and so on. Another option, uh, S3, uh, if we would consider all real numbers, so also minus 1, 1 1.5, and so on, we could say that it's closed, it's infinite, and choice set includes continuum of alternatives. So we may have many, many small differences between those numbers. And finally, we can have choice set S4. So, for instance, it can involve do A, do B, or do something else. It's specific because it's open, it's finite, and it includes discrete alternatives. One important attribute of uh, those alternatives or options in the choice set is that alternatives must be mutually exclusive. Let's consider this example. So uh, it's a S uh, X uh, set. So you can say study today, work out today. It's informed because you can do both. So well-formed 
choice set includes these three options. Study today, work out today, or do both. It's good that we can do both, right? So uh, at this moment you can decide. Maybe you can study a little bit more, or maybe you can do some exercises. Let's do that. Let's do some exercises to fresh up a little bit.